In this video, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to change your life and reach your goals. That's coming up. Hey everyone, it's Corey and welcome to my channel. That's all about motivating and inspiring people to choose life through my own experiences, positive and negative. And if you're a new viewer, can you please consider subscribing? Let's get into it. So one of my all time favorite motivational speakers, Mr. Jim Rohn said, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I'm a little bit more brutal and I'll put it the best way I can in my way. And that is you will act like, dress like, talk like, walk like, have the same bank account like um, as the top five people that you hang out with the most. And the truth is folks, if you hang out with losers, you will be a loser. Like that's just the way life is. Like, you know, imagine trying to be more positive, more happy, um, but yeah, but you're associating with really negative people. Like it's gonna make your life difficult and hard. Um, imagine trying to be more healthy, like you're trying to eat healthy, exercise, but you associate with people that eat garbage and are lazy, like it's not going to be cool. Imagine you're trying to stop using, you know, alcohol and drugs, but you're associating with people that use alcohol and drugs, like it's not going to be easy at all. So birds of a feather flock together. I I'm pretty sure you've all heard that before. Birds of a feather flock together. So just remember that. You know, I really recommend having a good look at your goals and dreams and then asking yourself three questions. And these are the three questions right here is number one is who am I hanging around? Like who are you hanging around? Number two, what do they have me doing? You know, are the people that you hang, that you hang around with, do they have you doing positive stuff um, or negative stuff? You know, do they encourage you to read books, um, grow as a human being, get out of your comfort zone. Like, do they encourage that? Or do they, you know, talk negative about people, gossip and all that kind of stuff and hold you back? You know, the next question that you really need to, to ask yourself, once you've assessed, you know, who you're hanging around with, um, what have they got you doing, um, is, are you okay with that? Like, are you okay with, the people that you're hanging around. And I'm not saying that these people are bad or anything like that. I'm just saying, just assess your life, like have a good look at this, these things. And, you know, I'm not saying just to cut these people out of your life. Like, you know, I can't hang out, hang around with you. That's it. We're done. It's over. But maybe some people you might have to, you know, they might be that negative or toxic that you do need to just go like, I can't hang around with you anymore. Um, yeah, like it's probably a hard thing to do and a hard decision to make. I've had to do it. But, you know, what's more important? You know, pleasing other people or reaching your goals and dreams. Like that's something you really got to consider. You know, I really recommend spending time with people that um, are heading in the same direction as you or have achieved the goals and dreams that you want to achieve. You know, hang around with people that encourage you. Um, yeah, encourage you to stretch, grow, read good books, watch good stuff. Like that's very important. Yeah. You know what happens if you can't physically find these people to hang around with in life? And I know that can be hard. Like, you know, depends where you live, depends who, um, yeah, a lot of factors can, you know, come into play when you're trying to find someone that has more, does more and is more than, than you are at the time. And I totally understand that. So I've been in the same situation where I personally couldn't find anyone physically to hang around with. And I'll give you a quick example, right? So, um, you know that I'm building my YouTube channel, roll with the punches. It's all about motivating and inspiring people. And I absolutely love it. And the truth is, I don't know anyone, no one in my circle of friends has a YouTube channel um, that's achieved what I want to achieve. Um, yeah. So what I do is I watch a lot of YouTube channel, a lot of YouTube, um, success stories, and I found the ones that kind of align with my morals and my values and that, that are in the same direction as me and the things that I want to achieve. So I'll watch them a lot. So that's who I hang around with. I associate with them. I don't know them personally, but I'm associating with them by watching their videos, learning from them. Um, you know, that's something that you can do. Another way is to read books. This is Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, but Robert Kiyosaki. So, you know, let's just say, you know, you don't have much money. You want to earn a lot more money or manage your money or, you know, have a business. 
but you don't know anyone around you, you know, that has achieved that. Well, that's when you've got to pick up a book. Pick up the book and start reading. And that way you're associating with those kind of people. Like Robert Kiyosaki is like a multimillionaire, like has been for a very long time. So that's a way that you can start associating with them, hanging out with them and learning from them. And then eventually when, as you become that kind of person, you attract those people into your life physically. Like if that makes sense. So I believe that what you become, you will attract into your life. So, you know, so another thing that I like to do is um, my wife does Muay Thai and she does that at Team Pinky Muay Thai. And I physically can't, you know, I can get on the bag and have a punch, but you know, they're out there and the environment itself is extremely motivating. Like everyone's healthy, like super fit, super healthy, eats really good foods. And the environment, like I said, is very motivating. I really love hanging out there, associating there. We usually do it about twice a week. Um, just for that reason, like I come home and I'm into it, man. I'm into my exercises that I can do, my weights, my exercise bike that I use in my hands. Like, yeah. So be very careful who you associate with. Like I said, have a good look at your goals, your dreams, and then look at the people that you're hanging around with. Like I said, do they encourage you? Do they lift you up? Do they have what you, you want to achieve? Um, yeah, like I said, some people you might have to cut out of your life completely and that's hard. Other people you might have to just limit the time that you spend with them. But it's very important that you do that if you want to reach your goals and dreams. So that's it for me, folks. I hope you learned someone. Law of Association. Get into it. Thanks for watching. And if you like what I do, please subscribe. If you want to pay it forward, please share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. I've got lots more um, inspiring videos coming out soon. Thank you very much.